As well as prepaid revenue, we can also have accrued revenue. So that is revenue that we have earned but not yet received. So for example, in June, we have earned a $500 commission from one of our suppliers for selling their goods. Because it takes a while for the supplier to calculate how much they owe us and so on, we probably won't get that amount until July. But what if our balance day is at the end of June? We've got a $500 commission that we haven't uh, actually received yet. So it's been earned, but not yet received. So what we've got is two amounts. We've got a revenue which is earned, and the three parts of a revenue are, it's got to be an inflow of economic benefits. What's the inflow? Well, we've kind of got a promise of the $500 earned. We're eventually going to get that. That, that is an inflow, just like a credit sale would be. We've got an increase in assets, and it's actually a new asset, so we might come back to this. We don't know. Uh, normally it's cash, but we haven't got the money, or it could be debtors control, but this isn't a credit sale. This is an accrued revenue. So what we're going to do is make a new revenue call, a uh, new asset called accrued commission revenue, but we'll come to that later. And lastly, it is going to increase owner's equity. Now, we also have an asset, because we haven't got this $500 yet, we'll get it in the future. So, we have a resource controlled by the business. We're legally owed $500. It's arisen from a past event. We earned some commissions in June. And there will be a future economic benefit in the form of the $500 cash we're going to get in July. And we call that uh, asset, it's called accrued commission revenue. So, at the end of June, we'll have our financial reports. We'll have a balance sheet which lists accrued revenue, and that is going to be a current asset accrued commission revenue. We'll also have in our income statement $500 of commission revenue in the revenue section.